trade and economic issues, Mr. Liu, tell me more about your thoughts on, uh, you know, from the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum to the bigger picture. Uh, where do you think we are moving to? I should say only when this uh, uh, forum is getting started, I think this is already tell the rest of the world is a good success, no matter what the consequences, how many participants will take part in. Because the purpose and the aim of this uh, forum is only to strengthen the economic ties. So as we know that uh, this forum will show again that how important for the inclusiveness, cooperations, mutual understandings and mutual benefits. So this is very essential for economic uh, ties. As we know, this uh, forum means economic forum. We should not be uh, putting this uh, forum weaponized or politicalized. Even they have some geopolitical tension, but we still need corporations uh, to recover the uh, world economy. It will be uh, working in a completely different situation uh, because for the past, uh, say, 20 years, uh, this forum was sort of open window to the West, mostly uh, Europe, uh, because uh, since uh, dissolution of the Soviet Union, we were, Russia was uh, developing, uh, let's say, according to reforms and opening up, uh, which was uh, Western-oriented uh, way of uh, development. But after the war in Ukraine started, and all those sanctions started, uh, Western countries um, started to sanction Russia, and it helped us uh, to go to a uh, new development pattern. Uh, we have much more elements of uh, self-sufficiency. Business and economic communities have to now uh, deal with much more geopolitics than they used to be. What does that mean for them? Well, actually, you're exactly right. That's very insightful of you because 30 years ago, people didn't think too much about things like this. But now, in the recent years, in Washington, if they get angry at you, they put sanctions on you, they cut you off from the dollar, they cut you off from American companies, and people are having to adjust to a non, where the U.S. is not so powerful, number one, as they were once before.